Miss Nagano. She's 33 inches tall, exquisitely crafted with eyes of glass and skin made of oyster shells. She wears a silk kimono and tabby socks, just as she did when she first arrived in America in the spirit of friendship in 1927. Dolls are an essential part of Japanese culture, an ancient craft that dates back thousands of years. They play many roles in a Japanese home, from children's playthings to venerated family heirlooms. All this was well known to American Dr. Sidney Gulick, an educator, activist, and advocate who lived in Japan from 1888 to 1913 and dedicated his life to improving the relationship between the United States and Japan. The friendship between the two countries hit a major stumbling block in 1924, when a U.S. Immigration Act barred most immigrants from Japan. With tensions on the rise, Dr. Gulick co-founded the Committee on World Friendship Among Children and encouraged American children to send dolls to the Japanese counterparts. Our goal is to implant in the minds of children ideals of goodwill, understanding, and peace among nations. And American children came through. More than 12,000 dolls arrived in Tokyo in 1927. Many dressed in handmade clothes and accompanied by letters of goodwill just in time for the annual Girls' Day Doll Festival in March. Included among them was a doll named Rebecca, dressed in Quaker-style clothes created by the Sunday school class at Wilmington Friends Meeting House. Inspired by the Americans' gesture of friendship, the best doll makers in Japan were commissioned to craft 58 friendship dolls, each representing a specific Japanese city or region. The dolls arrived by ship at the port of San Francisco, each with her own passport and bridal trousseau of folding screens, lacquer chests, lanterns, tea sets, and silk parasols. In Washington, D.C., the dolls were greeted with poems and songs at a reception led by the Japanese ambassador and his young daughter. From D.C., the dolls traveled to New York and began a nationwide tour. Nine dolls visited Delaware in 1928 for a three-day stop at the Wilmington Public Library. Miss Nagano was presented to the city by Naomi Nakano, a seven-year-old girl of Japanese descent. She was received on behalf of Wilmington by Mayor George W.K. Forrest and Miss Marion Kenworth, the six-year-old granddaughter of Amelia Pusey Warner. Warner was a local philanthropist and a leader in the women's movement, and she was instrumental in arranging the dolls tour stop in Wilmington. Today, the Japanese friendship dolls are recognized as some of the most significant dolls ever crafted in Japan. Miss Nagano makes her home at the Delaware Historical Society, where she has been cared for and admired for almost 100 years, but she has made one return visit to her homeland. In 2003, Miss Nagano was invited to visit Japan where she was welcomed with great fanfare, received professional restoration work, and participated in a documentary about the history of the extraordinary friendship dolls.